Hello and welcome to this SQL Server video. My name is Ahmed Oyelowo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and also set up your own version of Microsoft SQL Server for your own learning and for your own practice. So the first thing we are going to do is to come over to this web address, which I'm going to have the link in the description to this video. And then uh, I'm going to scroll down all the way to where I have downloaded a free specialized edition. So here I really have two options. Either I download the developer edition or I download the express edition. Either one is fine really. But for this um, video, I'll go ahead to download the developer edition because the developer edition is something that I may find useful when I want to do some other advanced tasks in SQL Server because the developer edition actually comes with everything that is available in the enterprise edition of Microsoft SQL Server. So I'm just going to click on the download now button and I'll wait for the download to complete. So once the download is completed, I will go ahead to click open the file or I may just go to locate where I have my downloads on my computer and I have to double click to ensure that I start the installation of the software. To quickly get up and running here, I have three options to either go ahead and install for basic or to install for custom or another option to download media. So for this, I'm also going to go ahead with the basic installation simply because the custom is going to take more time and then I will accept Microsoft terms. Then I'm going to click on install. All right, so that really took a while and since the installation is complete, the next thing we are going to have to do is to click on this install SSMS because we also need to install a management studio for us to be able to work with our SQL server seamlessly. So click on install SSMS. So this brings me to the site and I'm also going to share the link to this one in the description to the video. I'm going to scroll down and I will click free download for SQL server management studio. Once that download is complete, I'm going to find the download in my download section or if you are using Microsoft Edge like myself like this, I'll just go ahead to click on the open file here to start the installation process. So here I'm going to click on install. I'll click yes and then I'll just wait for it to do its thing. Okay, so this one took even longer and since this is complete, the next thing I'm going to do is to download a sample database that I'm going to set up on my SQL server. So I'm just going to click on close here. So now I want to download the AdventureWorks database backup file and I've come to this GitHub page right here. Again, I will leave this link in the description to the video and once I'm on this link, I will scroll down to where I have my database backup files. So we have different categories of them. There is the OLTP full database backups. We have the lightweight one. So I will simply use the full database backup for AdventureWorks 2022 since that's the latest one that we have right now. So now that this is complete, we are going to take a different approach. This is not something that we are going to install on our computers. Rather, I will go over to my download section of my computer. So in my downloads, I have the AdventureWorks 2022.bak file. I'm going to select it and I want to use Control X to cut it out. Then I'm going to go to my PC, this PC, and I want to open my PC drive. Here I will see program files, which I will go into the folder. And from there, I will go ahead to Microsoft SQL Server. And from there, I will go to MS SQL 16 Server, whichever version you have from your own end. And then I will also open up this MS SQL basically until I get to the folder that has backup. So I will open up the backup folder. If it gives you this warning, you have to click on continue. If you have permission, it will let you in. Then in this folder, I will just control V to paste what I copied. And the next thing is going to be to go to my taskbar on my computer and do a search for SSM. Yes. And you want to ensure that you are opening the one under the apps and not the one for best match. So I'm going to open the one that says SQL Server Management Studio. So from here, I will ensure that the server type is database engine and I will also ensure that I can see my server name in display. In case you don't have the server name in display, you have to go to click on browse for more and then you go to database engine, you should see that server name there. You can select it and click OK. And then I will go ahead to click on connect. 
So now I'm connected, I can go to my object explorer on the left hand side. I'm going to right click on databases and then I will select restore database. From this dialog box, I will select from device. Then I will go over to this ellipsis, this dot 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 on the right hand side to click on that. I'm going to click on add and this should bring me straight up to my backup folder where I can select the adventureworks2022.bak file that I put in there and I'm going to click OK. And then again, I'm going to click OK again. Once I have the progress marked at the bottom left hand side, I will also click OK one more time. Then I have my message, database restored successfully, click OK. And if I go over to my Object Explorer one more time, by the time I open up the databases, I'm going to see my AdventureWorks 2022 uh, database. If you don't have it, you can simply right click on the databases and select refresh.